Okay, the plaques. <laughs> so I don't get interrupted this time. <laughs> no, we're selling uh, plaques, eight by ten, your name on it for a hundred dollars with a certificate of authenticity. For two hundred dollars, we're doing two plaques. One plaque goes on the ship as it goes down. The other plaque basically is for you to keep in your office, saying the other half of this plaque can be found at these coordinates at a hundred feet below sea level. Then companies and businesses were doing about three to five hundred dollars more, you know, the same thing with the sister plaques. Okay. That way, you don't have to say, "Hey, you need to be a diver to see what we have," and say, "You see that? This means this is where our stuff is," okay. which I just find incredible. Awesome. And uh, I have to, to be honest with you, I have to give credit to the team I have asso assembled. That's uh, Krista Stone, Kathy Green, Katrina Collins, Jim. Offenborn to the county, with all these people together, yes. we're making this a reality, not just something that, hey, this sounds like a good idea. And on top of that, we're getting very little funding from the county, so this truly is the People's Reef Project. This is what the people want. It's a way I look at it. I'm a fish, oh, excuse me, I'm a water guy, Jim's a fish guy. It's a way of keeping the waters clean, keeping everything straightened up, encouraging growth, marine life, all that stuff to be able to make our area more beautiful than it already is. I'm not trying to get any, uh, just say, hey, we're gonna throw trash in the ocean. Mm -hmm. We're doing stuff to enhance the marine life that's already out here. Captain Porter's, they was walking there, they came that out. It's gonna be a great dive site. Okay. So, Then we have to find a way to make her stable, either by putting concrete in the uh, cargo hold, or maybe triple anchoring or quadruple anchoring. But if anybody can do that, it's McCulley Marine yeah. Sources. Yeah. They're the ones that are in charge of this project. Uh, the County Guard of the the contractor. Uh, and they've done this before hundreds of times. So, yes, fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, one of the things we'll get a kick out of is this spot right here. This is where the ship's binnacle was. <laughs> And this here, this too, I love this. There's actually a periscope that went back to the wheel. So the ship's captain could look up and see the compass heading without getting away from the wheel itself. And the hole next to it, this is what you see in old time movies. Where yeah. they yell into it, you know, engine room! You know? Really? And we actually have the pipe and the pieces for that. So it's the, the old fashioned intercom system is what they have. So it was just fantastic. We, we had to save that. There was just yeah, no you had to. I mean, it's yeah. just, of course. The thing was built in Germany in 1965. Yep. And the engine had, you know, you know, 50 years old, 50 year plus years old. Uh, they had very little, very little wear and tear on. Them. You know, we won't go down. No way. You know, we won't go down there. But you know, this is the engine room down there. They pulled the engine out, put it over. Yeah. They steam cleaned it and everything, made sure it was real clean before they pulled it over. They pulled it out by hand. Using chain hoist, and then they lifted out the cargo hold here. 